When you're driving along the highway, it's pretty much every man for himself. Everyone has an equal chance at getting you know, to where they need to go. But of course, that's not true. Higher priority vehicles, ambulances, police, fire brigade, etc., they put their sirens on and they get to effectively take priority. They get to break the rules even, sometimes going through red lights. We would like to do the same thing with the database. Sometimes, some processes are probably more important than others. And as it currently stands in most databases, if someone locks a row, then they've got access to it and there's nothing really you can do about it. Let's have a look in 23C how we've introduced the concept of emergency support vehicles into locking in the Oracle database. So I'm gonna create a couple of users here. One's called Lazy Connor, that's me. I'm just your typical user and you'll see why I'm lazy in a second. And the second one is the daily batch payroll run. Now you can imagine that's probably pretty important. If your payroll doesn't run each night, then people don't get paid and they get pretty upset about what's going on in your database. Both these users have complete access on the scott.emp table. That's going to be the, um, the element of contention here for these two users when they start competing for rows. Now I'm gonna connect as myself, lazy Connor, and I'm gonna go ahead and do an update on the scott.emp table. I've grabbed one of the employees here. I'm gonna bump up his salary or her salary and what do I do then? I go to lunch. I'm lazy Connor. I'm not going to bother doing anything else. I do my update. I'm bored. It's lunchtime. I head out to lunch. What did I forget to do? I didn't commit that transaction. I've locked that row and walked away from my desk. In another session now, the daily pay run is about to commence. I connect as the daily pay run and I need to get access to all the rows in the employee table because everyone needs to get paid. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure I can get exclusive access to all the rows. I'm gonna do select star from scott.emp for update no wait. And you can probably imagine what's going to happen here. The moment I try run that, I get an error because Lazy Connor in the other session has grabbed one of the rows and I can no longer get exclusive access to all of the rows. My daily batch run fails because Lazy Connor went to lunch. That's a problem. Really, I want my daily batch run to be the most important person in my system. He needs to be the ambulance or the fire engine that should take priority over others. So I'll roll back that one row update we have so we can start afresh. And I'm gonna do something that's available now in 23C. I'll connect as a DBA and I'm gonna set this parameter, which is setting the high priority target time to 10. Now that parameter name is a bit of a mouthful and the value of 10 will become evident as to why it's significant shortly. Just doing that and with a couple other changes, let's now repeat the demo. I connect again as lazy Connor and still being lazy, I'm gonna do the same update. But before I do so, we now have this facility to determine what my priority is. I'm gonna set this session's transaction priority to low. I'm just amongst all the other drivers on the highway. I get a low priority in terms of my access to resources. I go ahead and I do my update. I still successfully get it, but now let's move on to session two and see how this impacts the daily batch payroll run. I connect as the daily batch run, and because this is an important session, I've set this session's transaction priority to high. It has a greater priority than other sessions. Now I'm gonna set timing on, the significance of that will be important shortly. And now I start my update. And as you can see, the update is still stuck. I don't immediately get access to rows just because I'm a high priority transaction. I'm still trying to get that lock, hopeful that Lazy Connor will actually go ahead and commit his transaction. But after a little bit of a wait, Lo and behold, I didn't get an error. I actually managed to grab those rows and notice the timing. It took 10 seconds. That's the importance of that parameter that I set before at DBA level. It determines the number of seconds that will elapse before a higher priority transaction will override the existing locks of a lower priority transaction. Now, if I've managed to get the locks in this daily batch run session, well, what happened to my other session? Surely two people can't share the same locks. If I go back to Lazy Connor's session and try to do any kind of query, as you can see, the session got killed. That's the way we got rid of that problematic lock. Now, just like on the highway, we can now have the concept of different priorities when it comes to being able to grab resources in the Oracle database. Some sessions you need to be the fire engine, the ambulance, or the police vehicle that needs to jump ahead of the queue in order to get its work done. <music>